Hey guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. I am recording this on my phone and it is a long story why, but uh, today we're going to be doing a little declutter of my makeup collection. I don't go through each individual thing on every category like I do on some of it, but for lipsticks I don't go through each and every one, just the ones I'm getting rid of. I hope you all enjoy watching this and let's go ahead and get into the video. And also I want to say that I'm not going to go through every single item if there's a lot of it. Like my lipsticks, I'm not going to go through each single one and show you. I'll just show you what I'm getting rid of. So the next to last drawer is what we're starting with. And this is my foundation, primer, setting sprays, and concealer drawer. So you can't really see my organizer, but I made it myself. I have some organizers here that I bought from Sony Cosmetics, the acrylic ones. And then I have ones I made myself, actually from using stuff from the dollar store. So I will link that making my own organizers in the description box below. But this is what the organizer looks like. I actually broke my tripod and that's why it, like my camera will just like swing down. I can't angle it. So I need to buy a new tripod. But in here we have high-end primers, drugstore primers. These are all my setting sprays, concealers, and then all my foundations have their own little slots so they can sit straight. I guess let's start with Primers, I doubt I will really get rid of anything primer wise. I have this Smashbox Primer Oil, a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and also a mini travel size, which I like to take this when I'm trying to pack light. Benefit Professionals Primer, hands down my all time favorite primer. Then I have this Cover Effects Blurring Primer. Then I have this Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. I love this Too Faced Hangover RX Primer because it has coconut water and it's super, super nourishing, which is great because I have dry skin. And then lastly, I have this Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. I actually might get rid of this because I've had this for a while and it hasn't gotten too much use, so I'm going to pass it on to a friend. Now going into drugstore side, I have the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I actually like to mix this in with foundations just to make them more dewy. Then I have the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum. I would suggest this if you're looking for a drugstore, found, uh, drugstore primer. This is really good. Then I have this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I like it, but it's a little bit on the greasy side. <clears throat> then the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer. It's just a silicone-based primer. And then the AOA Studio Wonder Skin. This is actually a dollar off of Shop Miss A. And I like this. It's silicone-based. I like it because it's really tacky, so it pulls onto my foundations really well. Let's go to concealers. I have the Tarte Shape Tape. Too Faced Born This Way. Urban Decay Naked Skin. And then the rest are drugstore. I have this LA Pro Girl concealer and also a matching red one for color correcting. And I have this Wet n Wild one that I use for my brows. And then the Instant Age Rewind concealer from Maybelline. And then the last one I will be getting rid of. It's from Maybelline. It's a Super Safe Better Skin concealer. If you like kind of thin coverage, I think you would like this. Um, I'm just getting rid of it because I've had this for like two years. It's way past expiration. I need to get rid of it. Moving on to setting sprays. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Honestly guys, this isn't very good. I keep it though just to dampen my beauty blender. Honestly, I shouldn't even keep it in this drawer because then I forget to use it. So I would not suggest this, but I keep it and use it for other reasons. This is actually so, so good. I got this from Marshalls. It's the Pearlescent White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. It was for $5.99 and this is actually so amazing, guys. This makes my makeup look flawless. I would highly recommend this. Then this one, you'll see me use all the time. It's the Cover Effects Illuminate setting spray this is so good as well this next one I'm gonna get rid of because it's actually empty but I need to repurchase it I've been keeping it to remind myself to repurchase it's the Milani make it last setting spray and I love this stuff I think this is the dewy and smooth it just says 03 because I know they have different ones but this is so amazing if I could only have one setting spray the rest of my life it would be this one hands down I need to repurchase then I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray this one is really good but I still like my Milani one better but I will be keeping this lastly is this Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray moving on to foundations there's kind of a mix of high-end and drugstore in here um, starting at the back I have these two milk makeup blurring blur liquid foundations I actually got these from influencer and they're really really good then both of these i'll be holding on to because i just love them they're maybelline fit me these are actually my darker ones 
So these are more of my summer foundations because they're dark. I have 310 in Dewy and Smooth, and then I have 320 in Matte and Poreless, so just depending on my mood. Then back here I have the Tartiste Rainforest of the C Foundation the Elf BB Cream, and it has SPF 20, and I think that's pretty good. I'm going to put both of these in my maybe pile because I don't know. I don't wear these enough. They're, they're maybe for right now. Um, I just bought this, the LA Girl Pro Conce Coverage Matte, I don't even know what this is called. HD Definition Long Wearing Illuminating Foundation. L'Oreal BB Cream, I keep it because it's in fair, and so I use it to lighten my foundations if they're too dark. This I'm going to hold on to, it's the Anastasia uh, Foundation Stick. I will be honest though guys, these I think are very overhyped. Um, I think they kind of cling to texture a little bit too much. I like them because of the convenience and they're a good price for a drugstore or for a high end it's only $25 but I would I think drugstore foundations are better than this lastly is this cargo one base concealer and foundation in one and I've only gone to use this once so I don't have that good of an opinion on it so I'm gonna hold on to it just so I can get a better opinion this I will be getting rid of because I've had it forever it's the Stila illuminating liquid foundation this is actually the first video I ever have on YouTube, so that means it's like a year and a half old. <laughs> um, but I honestly don't use it that much, and it doesn't have a lot of coverage. Oh, it's actually good for two years. Okay, then I'll see if someone else wants this, because um, it's it's not anything I grab for. And moving on here, we have the Wet n Wild Auto Focus Foundation. This is a good drugstore option, but it's super, super tacky, so that was the only downfall, but it is nice. And I have this L Flawless Finish Foundation. It's pretty good, too. It's not my favorite, but I'll keep it. These are actually out of both. The uh, Cover Row Ready Set Gorgeous. This is an underrated foundation. I think this is really, really good. It has a nice finish. Um, it's just out, so I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, same with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This one is out as well, but I thought this was really great. I want to try their dewy, infallible one they came out with. And then lastly is this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. This is actually so good, but the only downfall is it doesn't last very long, but your skin looks flawless for like four hours, but then it kind of goes downhill. Now moving on to the lipsticks, I did a pretty big declutter of this a couple months ago maybe. I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. I'm trying to see if there's anything I want to get rid of. Most of this stuff is actually fairly new. Okay, I think I am going to get rid of this. It's the Bare Minerals Pop of Passion in nude passion and it just smells a little weird <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that cuz I honestly don't remember if it's expired or not but I know I've been holding on to it because this packaging is just so gorgeous but need to clear space for stuff that's not expired I forgot about these ColourPop lipsticks I forgot about these I love these what the heck have I been doing okay I feel like I need to be honest with myself and no I'm never ever gonna wear that and I need to pass it on. So I'm going to pass on this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Sorbet because although that's so pretty, I don't think that's ever going to get worn. I like I need to get rid of some of these purples. Like maybe just keep one or two. I'm going to pass on this as a Too Faced Melted Metal Metallic and Metallic Pony. I'm just going to get rid of that. Or Peony, not Pony. <laughs> Go ahead and pass on this too. It's this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. A big reason why I don't want to pass on this is because I love this formula, but again, this color is so crazy and I haven't really pulled to it at all, so I'm going to stop being wasteful and get rid of it. I'm going to go ahead and pass on this. I think I got it in a BoxyCharm. It's a Langa Cloud Lips in the shade Metallic Storm. I'm going to pass that along. Eyeshadow palette drawer, and I have done a dedicated video over this as well, so that will also be linked down below if you want to see all the eyeshadow palettes I have. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's this Blink Electric Eyes palette. I got this in BoxyCharm, and it is so gorgeous and great pigmentation, but it's not getting love, so I'm going to pass it on to someone that will. Another one I'm going to get rid of, I got this actually a couple months ago, maybe two, and it's from ColourPop. It's a Golden State of Mind eyeshadow palette. I got it in my BoxyCharm. One of the shimmers was broken, um, and I was just not very impressed with this palette. I mean, it's okay, but it's not my favorite, and I'm not a big fan of palettes that are shimmer only, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass this along, and hopefully someone will appreciate it a little bit more than I do. Also, I'm going to be passing on this Too Faced Cat Eyes. I've had this forever, and I love the idea of it, but I never grab it, and I feel like it's getting wasted, so I'm going to pass that along as well. So the next drawer was just some um, open mascaras, so I skipped that drawer, and this one is my eye drawer. 
I have this in eight different sections in here. The first one over here is just that holds my eyelash curler. I just have a Revlon eyelash curler. Then we move on to mascaras. And there are a ton I need to get rid of because they're old. Not because I don't like them. Gosh, it's like overflowing. This one is old, but I loved it. Like I said, I kind of hold on to stuff to remind myself to repurchase. Um, this is a Maybelline Blossel Big Shot Mascara. This is hands down my favorite favorite drugstore mascara. I will be getting rid of this though because it is expired. I have the Maybelline Lash Paradise. Is that what it is? No, it's L'Oreal. L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And <clears throat> I honestly think this is kind of overhyped. And this one's okay. This one just clumps a lot and I just think it's very overhyped. I still think the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot is better. I will be holding on to this though because it's okay and I'm like halfway through it so I'm going to use it up. This one I need to get rid of because it's old. It's the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is really good too. It's not an absolute favorite but it's definitely like top 10. I will say that I think high-end mascaras are so much better than drugstore. Like I think that is a good investment to take. It lasts so much longer. Your mascara doesn't get clumpy and the results are so much better. Like I've never had... I used to only, for the most part, use high-end mascaras, and then I switched to try to just find some good drugstore mascaras to recommend, and I have had the worst time with drugstore mascaras. Like, they're not very good. <laughs> Except the Colossal Big Shot. I like that one a lot. I am currently trying out the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. I just know it's like the purple tube, and Tati had recommended this, and a lot of people rave about it. I feel like this is way, way too clumpy. I know this is super affordable. It's like $4 or something but I wouldn't repurchase this. I am, I use it now with a combination of mascaras, but usually that's not what I like to do, so I wouldn't really recommend this, but I'm holding on to it to finish the tube. Okay, so some of my favorites, this Tartise Lash Paint and mascaras. Like if I could only have one more, one mascara in the world, this would probably be my tried and true. I have a full size, so I'm probably gonna get rid of this because I have used it up. Tarte Gifted Mascara, the Benefit Roller Lash, and the Benefit They're Real. All of these are so, so good. I cannot tell you how much better high-end mascaras are, guys. I need to get rid of this because it's crazy old. The MAC False Lashes Mascara. This was actually pretty good, but I did a video comparing this to the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, and I thought the Maybelline one was better, so I don't think this is worth the price. This I am going to get rid of. It's a Sinful Colors. It's like a purple mascara. I'm not really into all that, so I'm going to pass on that. I'm also going to get rid of this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. I only used this once. I got it in a boxy charm, <clears throat> a boxy charm, and it was way too clumpy. It was already not working out for me, and I'm just going to pass this along. Maybe someone else can get it to work for them. And then the last one in here is this tar uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I had a million samples, so I'm trying to use them up. But like I said, I think this is a good mascara. If I was to spend $20, though, I wouldn't purchase this one. I'd purchase some of the other ones I suggested. It's so exciting to see this clearing up. The next two are liners. Starting in this far one is my dark eyeliners. And honestly, I'll probably be keeping all of these. The e.l.f. felt tip liner I love, Nikkei All Nighter I'm keeping, Cargo one I'm keeping, Stila keeping, Stay All Day Stila felt tip of course I'm keeping. Okay this one I'm in love with. This is a good essence pro product. I think this was like two dollars. It's their eyeliner pencil. It's waterproof. They have a ton of these guys so if you do buy this one make sure it's blue. Um, this thing is amazing. One of the best eyeliners I've used and it's only like two dollars. Let's get rid of this one. I've had it so long. It's this MAC eyeliner. It's dried out. It's been dried out for a while. But this was a really good liner too if you're looking for a MAC eyeliner. I'm not big into pencil liners, but it's this Ulta pencil liner. One side is brown and one side's black. This one I just got from Maybelline. It's a long, it's a lasting drama matte. This is actually really nice and creamy and it glides on really smooth. And then these two I haven't really tried out, but I think I'm going to pass them along because as you saw, I have so many. So I'm going to pass on this Bella Pierre gel eyeliner and this vintage smoky eye pencil. I'm going to pass these along just because I have so many and these aren't necessarily bad. They're just not my favorite, so I'm going to give them away. This next one is what's really crazy. This is all eyeliners that are anything but black. So we have like browns, blues, nudes. Yeah, this is bad, guys. Just a little brown one from Ulta. This one's so pretty. I will be keeping. This is Too Faced Bulletproof. I'm going to swatch this for y'all real quick. It's such a pretty color, so I'm keeping that. I have this one from Sinful Colors. Another pretty blue one. I love this one. Mally Beauty. Really pretty, like, icy blue color. Keeping that. 
Now for browns, I am going to keep cargo because I love these swimmable eyeliners. They're really good. Stila, I will keep. Colourpop, I'll keep. Cargo, this one's pretty. So the other one's brown. This one's like a bronze. So pretty. This is another cargo one. It's like a forest green. It's called Shelly Beach. There. So pretty. I have this one from MAC. A gray eyeliner. I will keep this. It's a Rimmel, just like nude, scandalized. I'm only probably going to keep this one because it's a really warm brown. This is Bare Minerals uh, eyeliner in chocolate and I love how warm it is. It's actually that one right there. These I am going to pass on because they're all very like charcoal kind of muddy gray shades. I'll be getting rid of the Bare Minerals liner in charcoal, IBY in navy pearl, and the Jetta Blue in dark brown. I'm moving to the back four. I have gel pot eyeliners back here. I'm going to be keeping all of them. I have a brown one from Bare Minerals and a brown one from ColourPop. I also have two pencil sharpeners back there to sharpen my eyeliners. And then I have this one that y'all know I'm in love with from Pretty Vulgar. It's this black gel pot. This is so nice. Moving on to this next bin, I just have a pair of fake lashes from Pure that I'm holding on to for a special occasion. And then this pigment from MAC in the shade Old Gold. The next one is Brows. I don't know if we'll be getting rid of anything in here. Honestly, I like a lot of stuff. I'll get rid of this. It's just a sample of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't ever use that. This is some powders from the Brow Gal I'm gonna keep. My favorite, hands down, is this MAC Lingering Eyebrows. I also love this It's Brow Power. I'll be keeping that as well. The Brow Gal, it's a hair gel. Another brow gel tint from Bliss called Holy Brow. And then a brow tint in medium from Ulta Beauty. Then this last little compartment over here is just my eyelid primers, which are really only used for special occasions. I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is great, as well as the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Honestly, this Milani one is said to be a dupe for the Urban Decay, and I could definitely see that. And I have some glitter glue from Too Faced. And lastly, I have this Ulta Nude Matte primer and this is really good when you really want to conceal those veins on your eyes this is a really thick formula so it works really nice so this next drawer is a beauty this also is the sony organizer if you are wondering and this is where i keep blushes bronzers highlights setting powders a bunch of stuff and then the ones that are too big to fit in these slots are up here and some up in this very top one so i don't know if i'll be getting rid of too much in here honestly anything i get rid of will probably just be because it is expired. Here I just have some Ulta little doubles. I will be keeping all of this. Matte Fit Me Powder, Rimmel Stay Matte, Ofra Oil Control. I will be keeping those setting powders. I'll be keeping this. It's Too Faced Bronzer and Endless Summer. This Smashbox Trio with like bronzer, contouring, highlight. Oh, I love this. Intoxicate Blush from Buxom. I love how like frosted the finish is. Then I have this e.l.f. blush uh, in mauve, e.l.f. in the shade Fiji Matte. We'll be getting rid of this. It's this vintage highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. It is super pretty, but I just don't grab for it as much. I don't like it as much as my others. It's pretty vulgar blush, and this is super pretty. It smells disgusting, but super pretty, and it's definitely that mauve tone shade that I always go for, so I will be keeping that. I love this Wet n Wild highlighter and like Precious Petals. This is my like daily go-to between Essence Pure Nude and the um, Mary Luminizer. These are both such great highlighters. I go to them a lot. Then when I want to be a little more bold, we get into more of my Ofra collection here. I have this one in Beverly Hills, which is basically just like all different types. And this one is Rodeo Drive. It's this beautiful gold shade for when I'm a little bit more tan. And then this last one is in You Do You. It's this beautiful kind of champagne, rose tone gold. I really like it. Then I have this beautiful Becca blush in the shade Prosecco Pop. So gorgeous. This next one I will be getting rid of. It's this highlighter. It's their Super Shock Cheek Highlighter from ColourPop in the shade Wisp. One, it's pretty old. And two, I don't grab it because it is pretty deep for my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Down Boy from the Balm. I love this blush. It's so pretty. Also, we'll be keeping these two Kat Von D blushes. This one's a little bit more mauve tone in Pife and Poe. I used to use this so much on my channel. If y'all are like OG subscribers, you know that one. And then this one's a little bit more on the peachy side, which I've been getting more into in Mickey and Mallory. And this one is my Too Faced Sweetheart blush in the shade Love Hangover. Then I have this Adjusting Coral blush from Stila. 
I have this Tarte Coffee Tone Blush in the shade Celebrated. It's so gorgeous and these last for a long time. I think it's supposed to be 12 hours. Yes, 12 hours. This one I am going to get rid of. It's Makeup Geek Blush in the shade XOXO and I love the packaging so that's another reason it's hard for me to get rid of it. And the quality is great in the formula but it's just so bright that I don't ever grab for it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it on before it expires. Someone else can give it some love. This next one I will actually be holding on to. It's Bare Minerals Pop of Passion in the shade Posy Passion. And I was going to get rid of it because it does look bright but I love how it has that orange tone underneath so I'm going to hold on to that. Then I have this sample in Parte that I got for my birthday from Sephora. It's another Tarte blush. These two I will be getting rid of. It's another um, Sweetheart blush, but it's just a sample in Love is King. It's like this deep purple, but I don't ever wear that shade, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then this one's just crazy expired, but I love it. It's a water-resistant blush from Cargo in the shade Los Cabos, and it's so pretty. It's like this orangey-pink shade with sparkles, and it just is so nice for summer. But this is crazy expired, so I need to get rid of it. Like I said, these are overflow drawers of stuff that just didn't fit. This one, I know I'm going to keep everything in this little drawer. This Pure Sculptor palette, y'all have seen me use a bunch since I got it, so I'm queuing onto this. It's a favorite, as well as this Smashbox photo finish setting powder, Cody air spun powder, and Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is honestly like my most used compartment here. Moving on to this middle section here, I will be keeping this Ulta Trio. I use this all the time and it's great for when I travel. Ella Pierre, I'm going to keep this just because I don't really have a lot of color correcting. This is a color correcting palette and I'm just going to hold on to it because it's nice to have if I do color correcting. And this Smashbox blush little trio. I am going to pass this on because it deserves some love. Here, oh, I will be keeping this. I love this trio. That's a beautiful orange tone blush. And then the highlight's gorgeous as well as the bronzer. I can only really wear this in the summer, but it's so, so gorgeous. And I've used it a few times, so I'm definitely keeping that. This I will be getting rid of. It's blush kit from Real Her. And it's nice, but it wasn't like amazing. And I have a ton of blushes already, so I'm going to give this to someone that will get more use out of it. This I will be keeping. It's the Becca Blush with Light Blush Trio Palette. And these shades are so gorgeous. I know for sure I'll be keeping these Temp 2. It's a bronzer and highlight. I love, love, love these. Will be keeping. This I use constantly. Like I will buy this again once I run out. It's the uh, Model Co. Contouring Stick. Y'all have seen me use this in so many tutorials. Holding on to that. I will be keeping this Artiste Couture Loose Highlight in Illuminati. It is a mess, but it's so gorgeous when applied, so I'm keeping that. I will be getting rid of this Sinful Colors Face Forward All Over Hiding Highlighting Stick. I got this from Influencer, and it was okay. I think it's nice if you like simple highlights or really toned down natural looks. But usually if I'm highlighting, I'm going hardcore, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass this along. This one I'm going to be keeping because I haven't had it too long. It's Tarte's Pro Glow, and I'm a little conflicted on where I, whether I like it. I mean, I like it a lot, but there's bits of glitter in it, and so I think I'm going to use it more for summer, and then maybe after summer I'll pass it off to someone. Milk Makeup Highlighter. I have this Too Faced Soulmates Bronzer in Ross and Rachel, which I will be keeping. If I never ever, I mean, I use this, but if I never do... I would still keep it for a collector's item and because I'm obsessed with friends. We'll keep this. Y'all know I rave about this all the time from Laura Geller, especially that bronzer. Pure Shimmer Break Bronzer I will be keeping. Contouring palette I will be keeping as well. This is a great affordable contouring option from the drugstore. And then this I'm keeping just for a collector's item because I do keep a lot of the Smashbox stuff for that purpose because this is a little bit too dark tone for me. I will be keeping this. It's a bronzer from Wet n Wild in Ticket to Brazil. I will be getting rid of this. It's the e.l.f. Blush Palette. It's really pretty, but it doesn't get a lot of love, so I'm going to pass this on. And lastly, I will be keeping this. It's just a single blush in this Z palette. I think it's from Makeup Geek and Summer Fling. This is what I'm probably going to get rid of a lot because I don't use loose blushes, and I have three of them here so I think I'm actually going to get rid of all three. One is from Studio Makeup and it's a Luminous Loose Blush. Bare Minerals Absolute Indulgence. And this last one is Bare Minerals. It just says Beauty. This I'm also going to get rid of. It's this Pure Stick and it looks super crazy dark and intense. It actually... And then it comes with this brush on the opposite side and you like stipple it to like calm it down. Which it actually is really pretty but I'm just not I'm not dealing with it I'm moving on I will be keeping this though this is the Stila water blush it's like a liquid 
blush, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, in the shade Water Lily, but this is so, so, so gorgeous when you take a beauty blender and just blend this out on the cheek. So I will be keeping that. Last drawer, let's go. You can see this mess going on over here. This was some of the stuff I'm getting rid of. I just set it on top. In this top drawer, this is more overflow. This is more palette style overflow. I will be keeping, it's my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette. This is amazing, will hold on to. I also keep this, my sister got it for me. Um, it's Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Highlighting Palette. This is super gorgeous, I will keep that. I will also be keeping this Cheek Parade Palette right here from Benefit. So, so gorgeous and it has both the Hoola Bronzer and Hoola Light and I love these. Uh, blush shade, so I will hold on to that. Love this contouring palette too. We got in BoxyCharm. It's from Ivy White Beauty. We'll be keeping that. You'll probably like, dang, tell us something you're gonna get rid of. Okay, this I'm a little conflicted on keeping or not. It's all these concealer shades, but part of me feels like I should because I did use some for Halloween makeup and it's great if I'm doing someone else's makeup. So I think for convenience sake, I'm gonna hold on to this. This I probably am gonna get rid of. It's from Too Faced. It's their No Filter Selfie Powders. And they are nice. The bronzer is really nice, but I just don't grab it that much, so I'm going to give that away. I think I'm also gonna pass on this. It's Anastasia Contour Cream Kit in Medium. This is pretty good. It's a little bit on the drying side, but I have so much contouring stuff going on right now, I don't think I'm gonna be using this enough, so I think I'm gonna pass it on before it expires. All right, that is it for my makeup declutter. All right, guys, so that is it for this declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed. I also hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.